Good morning, everyone. Happy rainy Wednesday. I'm leaving the cave. It's really chilly out this morning. And we're going to Sills for lunch today. Actually, we're going to meet up at the diner. Um, it's kind of hilarious. I told you guys that since I've turned vegan, the only eggs that I had been eating were Sylvia's omelets. Well, this morning we get a phone call and she's like, I want to ask you a question and you should be honest with me. I'm like, oh my gosh, of course. Are you, are you not eating eggs? And I said, well, I eat your eggs. <laughs> and she said, no, that's silly. So we're going to go to the diner and I'll get a veggie burger. But she's such a sweetie bear. I was kind of, I didn't want to put her out, you know? So anyway, that was very sweet of her. So uh, Tom would have been joining us today, but he's got to run off to work. He just got back from Lake George. And of course, every time he t tries to take a break, the whole world blows up. So he has to go take care of some computer issues. And yeah, so he won't be joining us, but and normally on Tuesday nights, we go for our Indian food, but he, he and Nick got back so late last night that uh, we didn't do that. So we'll have to reschedule that till next Tuesday. And we wound up just getting some uh, delicious pasta from our one of our local restaurants. Um, I get a version of their Caprice pasta, which they normally make with um, tomatoes and garlic and black olives and mozzarella but obviously I don't eat cheese so instead of the mozzarella I just get extra olives look at me already talking about food I've barely had a cup of coffee and I'm talking food already so but anyway um, yeah you know the drill we'll go home feed the birdies um, I have a gift I'll show you that um, Tom's mom kitty sent for me which I love and I'll share with you guys it's quite unusual um, that's pretty cool and I told you it was very low-key I had a really mellow weekend um, it was just gloomy and rainy and kind of mellow and I just stayed in I was a total hermit um, but I did get a little bit of artwork done I didn't film any tutorials but I did just place an order yesterday um, on Amazon for some supplies. And I broke down and reordered my Prime membership. I had had it in the past and I let it expire because it's $100. You know, that's a lot of money. But I do so much on Amazon that it's kind of worth it, even though Tom has free shipping. I don't know. They offered me a 330 day trial and I can cancel. So we'll see. Maybe I just use it for the free shipping and cancel. One never knows. Ugh. Every time I pull up here, I look at my rhododendron bushes. My sad bushes that will grow back. I'll see you inside. Look at my hair. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, thought I'd show you what kind of a day we're having. Just finished feeding the birdies. It's rainy. It's overcast. It's been this way all week. It's kind of how my mood has been too, you know. Uh, there are my pitiful rhododendron bushes. Oh, I'm not bitter. <laughs> Let that be the worst thing that happens, right? So I'm going to get ready to go hang out with Syl. And it's about 11 o'clock right now. So I will, I'm probably going to make a shake or smoothie or something just to kind of tide me over. And what else is going on? Oh, you know what? I'll show you. Well, first of all. My cup runneth over, okay? That's all good things. I'm glad to hear it. Um, thank you again, you guys, for the good wishes for my mom. She's seeing them and appreciating them on Facebook especially. Um, I showed you guys the uh, photograph, photo album that I got at the auction that I was using as a, starting to use as an art journal. And I think I showed you the background I did. Well, if you follow me on Facebook, you see the... Sorry for the lighting in here, guys. Um, I had done a background, and then 
I just did her with um, acrylic and colored pencil and some collage and I'm still not finished with it I never know when to end things but I think she came out pretty cool and actually I glued this piece on I used the same paper that the album is made out of um, which is really kind of cool anyway so I worked on her a little bit and I think I want to add more up in here but up in here and here's the present that I got from Kitty from Tom's mom and thank you so much Kitty if you're watching this happy birthday and I know the boys had a great time on their visit and I know we'll get together very soon so um, they went to a cafe which I wrote the name down and of course I don't have it here maybe I wrote it inside here and there was a local artist selling her work and they got me something, Kitty got me something, and I wish the artist had signed this. I have no way of giving this person a shout out uh, other than to say it's from Cafe Vera. Cafe Vera up in Lake George, New York. And check this out, you guys. It's in an embroidery hoop, and it's like felted. It's this beautiful dragonfly, and I love it. Again, I'm sorry about the lighting here. Check it out. I love it, Kitty. Thank you so, so much. These are my colors for sure. And I'm going to find a spot here in the nest to hang this. And I'm just so blessed. So thank you so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. Isn't that great, you guys? And again, it's not signed anywhere. So just a reminder to us artists out there, make sure you sign your work because now I have this beautiful piece of artwork and I have no way of acknowledging the artist, but I'm thankful it's here. If anybody knows who did this, let me know, but uh, these are great. And I've never done felting before. I've done many types of needlework, but I've never done felting before. Let me know if you guys have done it. I think that's what this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it feels like. It's amazing. So anyway, very blessed to have that. And what else is going on? I also made, um, let me see if I can get up here. I made this really cool mobile. The other night, I literally just got an idea. And of course, you know, when you get lost in Pinterest, you get inspired to do a million things. But you know I love my marbles, right, you guys? Check this out. Hang on, let me see if I can make it move. I love my marbles and I had big shooter marbles and I had some dollar store copper wire. I'll put copper in quotation marks and this little sun ornament. And I made this really cool mobile and I love it. So I believe it or not with all the marbles that I own and you guys know how many marbles I have. I ran out of shooters, the big fat ones, you know, I love these big fat shooter marbles. So believe it or not, I went on Amazon and I ordered some more shooters. So I will be doing a tutorial on how I did this. And I now I want to make a million mobiles. And it's funny, uh, shout out to Pam Tonino. Hi, Pam. Um, she We did a collaboration with the Wizard of Art Crawl, and she's a fellow Creative Arts Collaboration member um, and has become a friend. And she does these amazing cool mobiles too. So... Um, Pam, I'll link your channel below, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a tutorial when I get the shooter marbles, um, in my Amazon order and let's see. Oh, I picked these, um, I had a little daffodil bush out front by my <laughs> pruned rhododendrons and they were falling over outside. Normally I, I don't want to uh, pick them while they're still in full bloom, but they were falling over from the rain. So I brought them inside and you know, I like to use my blue food coloring, but don't they look pretty you guys? And let's see. Hello, Herman. Myrtle. My pet rocks. <laughs> oh, you guys. 
it'll be good to get out and see Syl and have some uh, activity. This weekend is Mother's Day here in the United States, so um, I'm, get, I'm sure I'll be getting together with my sister to go see my mom. Look at our celery, you guys. Definitely going to have to put this in some dirt. You can only let these go so long in water before the bottoms really start to get mushy and uh, rotted. You know, I changed the water, but still I'm going to need to get that in some dirt. Um, and I just moved those guys down there. But I've been using the scallions. I just trim them off when I want to use them to cook with. There's our oranges, our pansies, forever blooming pansies. I got those through the winter. Um, I grew them from seed from last year, so they've been hanging in there, and hopefully they'll bloom for me. Um, but yeah, so let me uh, set up the camera. Oh, God, they're gorgeous. Let me set up the camera, and I will make some type of a smoothie. Definitely got to go grocery shopping. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, you've seen me do this before, and again, I'm going to be eating pretty soon, so this is just to tie, tide me over. I have some frozen bananas, and I'm going to throw a couple in the blender here, and I also have some strawberries. I made one of these for my granddaughter last week, and she loved it. strawberries in. When I go, we're going to go back to that Whole Foods store that I showed you last week. I'm going to grab some um, flaxseed and hemp hearts just to add a little bit of protein to my beverage. A little vanilla. You know I don't measure anything. And thank you Carol for reminding me about cinnamon uh, cinnamon, in addition to many other things, helps to regulate your blood glucose levels. So, and plus it tastes amazing. So thank you for reminding me of that. And I told you guys in a, in a week or so, I'm going to be doing a, um, six month update being vegan video. So if you're interested, check that out. And then I have some almond milk. So we'll just blend this up. You could do this with water. Um, yeah. See you guys in a few minutes. Okay, you guys. And this time I didn't add any coconut sugar. Um, you can if you want. But it's sweet enough as it is. And... God, this just, I wish you could smell. Okay, we're going to attempt to pour this. Remember my disaster last time? Let's see what happens. This time I'm not holding a camera, so. Oh, you guys. So good. Yeah, it feels like, you know, it's not breakfast, it's dessert. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I just had to share with you, I must be feeling extra psychic today. I was literally just talking about Pam Tonino making a mobile. I turned on YouTube, on my TV here, and first thing in my subscription list is a video from Pam making a mobile. And this one's out of Forks. She did a collaboration with some other artists. So I'll link this video of hers below. And I just laughed out loud when I saw it. Synchronicity. Gotta love it. Okay, guys, we're off to see Syl. And it's just yucky. It's cold and rainy. But she'll bring some sunshine. Always good to catch up. And of course, I'm not that hungry because I just finished that amazing shake. But what are you gonna do? I'll probably get some french fries and a veggie burger. Something like that. Oh, and speaking of veggies, I ordered that. I told you I was going to order the Vegan Cuts subscription box to try it out. So, I'm going to do that. And we got a message from, I don't know if I told you this before. We got a message from the guy at the Heaven on Earth store. And he ordered a half of a case of seitan which is, you know, 
like texturized wheat gluten, but that's how you make fake meat. So I haven't been able to find it anywhere but online, so I'm excited for that. There's some weird lights behind me. It's not a UFO. Anyway, so yeah, did that. I told you I'm waiting for the Amazon order. So I'll do those two tutorials. I'll show you the rainbow chakra one and then the mobile one. And what else? I'm still binge watching Asian vegan mommy tang. And who else do I watch a lot? Hot for food. I'll put all these links below. Uh, Lauren Toyota, hot for food. I love her. I've been watching an awful lot of uh, Dee Dee Willingham and Barb Owens this week. I love both of those ladies. Uh, and I'll put their links below too. There's not enough hours in the day for all the YouTube videos that I want to catch up on. Um, but they're both amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard of both of them. Uh, but if not, check them out and you will it will be life changing for you. Um, is going on lots of uh well i told you the kite festival is supposed to be this weekend but we're getting all this rain they even canceled my grandson's uh baseball little league practice and stuff like that so i think tomorrow my sister of the moon donathan is gonna come by stop by for a visit and then i'm gonna see tomorrow's thursday right i'm supposed to see my son Jonathan and my grandson Sean possibly Thursday night uh, maybe we can get some dinner or something and then Friday I'm gonna try to get a little league practice but we'll see and then I'm gonna watch my grandson Carter and my granddaughter Cami while my daughter and son-in-law go birthday present shopping for Miss Cami who is going to be Three this weekend. Uh oh, I hear sirens. Where are they coming from? Uh oh, mobile medic. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm oh, coming this way. Alright. You know what? Let me pull in right here. Is this still? I think it is. <laughs> it is. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. Lunch is over. And sorry I didn't vlog while I was in there, but we just got to talking. It's always so good to catch up with her. And uh, now I had to run to the cave quick and use the bathroom. And then I went to the post office. So I'm leaving the post office now. And I'm going to head back to the nest. And I think that I'm going to start working on my Gypsy and the Witch page. We have a new theme posted for this month. I'm actually pretty excited about the theme. Thanks to my Gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. And I might work on that. I was checking yesterday. I didn't see if Mike Deacon posted a mission inspiration page yet. I didn't see the prompts up. But I'll check that out too. But I've been feeling the art journal thing lately. So maybe I'll do a little filming. Which I haven't done in about a week or so. And I think Tom's going to be working tonight till What is it? It's 2.30 now. He probably won't be done until about 6 or 7. So I have a couple of hours. It's either that or take a nap. So <laughs> I think I will do some art just enjoy the rest of the afternoon it's still rainy and gloomy but what are you gonna do maybe we'll see a rainbow um, but yeah just low-key day today guys nothing exciting going on kind of like it like that and I hope you guys are all having a good day thank you again for everybody's love and support um, and good wishes to my mom so appreciate that. You guys rock. And that's really, you know, there's not much going on. I can't even like make things up. What 
else do I have to tell you? Uh, we're going to try to make, make it to the auction this week. I told you the kite festival is going on again. Um, I'm not flying a kite in the rain, but as long as we get some sunshine, we'll check that out. And then head over to the auction. I miss my cat and Patty and Diana and Ross and Sherry and everybody. That'll be cool. And my neighbor Peggy came over yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that. She knocked on my door. She's the one who I'm going to be doing some project for at the library. Um, but she's always just a bright light of bubbly energy. She gave me some really uh, cool things for my grandkids too. Some clothes that are brand new still with the tags on it. I love her. And that's really it you guys. Pretty, pretty chill week. But I'm not complaining at all. Getting ready to pull into the driveway. I'll see you guys inside. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little filming for my Gypsy and Witch page. And I'll probably see you in a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on, but this is it for now. Okay, you guys, I finished filming my Gypsy and Witch page. It has to dry for now, so I think I'm going to answer some comments on my channel, believe it or not. I'll finally get to that. And I just talked to Tom. He's going to be picking up some Chinese food. So after I'm done with comments, I'll head on over to the cave. And I'm just going to call it a night for now. So I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And I'll definitely see you on Sunday, if not before. Probably before. Stay tuned for a couple tutorials, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.